So a common condition that can happen in the spine is a slipped vertebrae, or the more technical term is spondylolisthesis that you might hear about. Essentially what that means is that one vertebrae is shifting forward on the other one. And when that's due to a stress fracture, that's usually a fracture that occurs in this area back here in the back side of the spine. This circle on the side of the spine where the nerve root comes out will essentially change shape and it'll become from an oval to the shape of a pancake. As that spine slides forward and this hole becomes more pancake shaped, this nerve really gets pinched. The other type of slip is when you get arthritis in the back of the spine in these small joints in the back of the spine that are called facet joints. As those joints get loose and unstable, the spine again can shift. So having a slip vertebrae can cause a couple of things. Usually people will have some component of back pain. As the slip progresses and as your body develops thickened ligaments to help protect it, uh, people can get pinched nerves. When they start developing pinched nerves, usually people will start to have complaints of leg pains or pains going down their legs, perhaps one or the other or both. People that have a slip from a fracture or a stress fracture usually get more severe leg pain. Uh, people that have a slip from arthritis can get leg pain not just in one leg or the other but usually both legs and have symptoms similar to what people would experience with spinal stenosis which is pinched nerves from arthritis. These are usually gradual processes and occasionally people will have more severe pain but usually it builds slowly over time. People will notice back pain and occasionally with activity they'll get some leg symptoms. Oftentimes that'll calm down and the symptoms will come and go. As time goes on, the slip can get a little more severe or the pinching of the nerves can get more severe and at that time the symptoms in the legs can start becoming more constant and problematic. The condition where you have arthritis and the slipping of the spine becomes quite common as we all age and many of us will develop a little bit of slipping from arthritis. Oftentimes that doesn't develop into much pinching of your nerves and people tolerate that okay. If you're doing reasonably well and you're having some intermittent back pain or some intermittent leg pains, that's usually best managed conservatively and I recommend people go through a course of physical therapy to work on core strengthening or stomach strengthening. You can take anti-inflammatory medications over the counter or Tylenol. Uh, it's good to have uh, your weight at an appropriate level and so if you're overweight it's good to lose some weight and avoid smoking and those sort of lifestyle factors. Uh, if your pain is increasing despite those treatments, the next step up in treatment would be an injection or a cortisone shot in the back, which are called epidural injections. Those can often be quite beneficial for a period of time. The time to consider surgery is if your pain is uh, not well controlled with any of these other treatments or if the injections helped but they're just not working anymore. Uh, and there are good surgical options for these uh, conditions. Surgically, when someone does a laminectomy or an area to unpinch your nerves, you remove a small window of the bone on the back side of the spine so that we can get to the nerves and then take out all that excess ligament that's pinching them. We also would come out and open up these holes where the nerves come out on the side and making sure all of your nerves aren't pinched. Then to stabilize the two segments that are slipping, we put little screws through here that run through this segment of the bone into the front on both sides at both levels and connect them with little rods in the back. And then the most important part is to also pack a little bit of the bone along the sides of the spine to get these two vertebrae to essentially grow together. In general, when somebody's had a fusion and a decompression or a laminectomy for a slipped vertebrae, uh, you're quite sore early on in the first several days, but we do get you up moving quickly. Uh, usually you're up to the chair or walking on post-operative day number one. Uh, usually somebody's in the hospital for a few days and then they go home and they're on a walking program and we just simply avoid them doing much bending or heavy lifting for the first uh, 8 to 12 weeks afterwards to allow things to heal. the Nebraska Medical Center, the biggest advantage is there's so many people uh, to help in your care. We have specialists in every area of medicine, uh, and so while I'm treating your spine, I have a hospitalist that would be specifically trained to evaluate you preoperatively and note any problems that you may develop. We have uh, specialist physicians to follow you on the floor. Uh, our anesthesiologists are specialized in treating complex cases, and so uh, your total continuum of care is really run by people that are specialized in every aspect of you getting better. 
Additionally, at the Med Center, we have both neurosurgical spine and orthopedic spine, and we can collaborate on any cases and do so occasionally to help uh, you get the best care that you need.